Lions now for your TLPH. And then uh, you put the Arlot in the uh, Rome. Rome, right. and then pick up a, an Exborg and answer the Exborg. So that uh, usually the that is still is, open. Uh, is Paquito good against Exborg? Not so it is good. in XP. But the thing is, I feel like for Twisted Minds, they can actually go and twist Liquid Echo's Minds yeah. right now with the Exborg and the Roger. Because oh, like with the Exborg, wow. it can still go to the Very jungle. Possible. The Roger can still go to the gold lane, and they can try to play around that to just counter the Baksha. Yeah. But now that the Arlet has been revealed to go towards the XP, maybe they just put the Exborg in the, the XP, put the Roger in the jungle, and then pick yeah. up another gold lane. They would bully the Moskov. What can bu bully the Moskov? I think uh, Beatrix? Beatrix will be the best. I think um they might not they might just put the 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 Roger in the gold lane or in the jungle they pick up something along the lines of a ruby because oh. the idea here is that you're facing up against Louis so you don't want to really like overdo your gold lane you don't want to farm dependent gold lane uh, because the 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 thing is that Louis will just be able to take over. Oh, Danny! Okay, against the Moskov. I mean, the Moskov is. Traditionally a counter to the Fanny. I guess. And, and this is Florin, dude. I, I mean, I don't like this at all. I'm just saying it. I mean, here's the thing. Even though you don't like it, it's it's it looks spicy. And when it's spicy, we gotta throw it over to our casters. It's haven't seen before. Again, welcome them into their home court. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Game one in the best of two. I can't start this matchup without saying Team Liquid PH. Are one of the tournament favorites. Like that's just that's just the oh that's just the stakes we're looking at right now. Yeah, it's just facts. It's just facts. Especially when they're coming from one of the strongest regions so far in the world until somebody knocks them off. I think it's fair to say that they've got a pretty decent chance in these groups. And more importantly so, I would like to see whether Twisted Minds, especially in the earlier stages of the game, because that's what they were known for previously before the two-minute debuff. Yep. Speed is what Twisted Minds have on their side. And if there's anything I like about that draft. Because I, I do echo Wolf uh, in the fact that I don't like the Fanny, but I like the switch up. I like putting the Roger into the gold lane, but maybe not the hero on to Hoda. And they are threatening JP, but as a floor, like, you got to get used to this kind of thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, that's how JP likes to be handled, right? Everything is his fault. If he goes down, it's going to be his fault. If they win, it's also going to be his fault. Who is he without adversity, right? Truly. He's been truly. living with adversity all his life. And now he's just taking care of the team. Look at this. Look at how comfortable Liquid Echo are. Carl Easy going for an early green. A stolen small camp from Hoda while he's getting to a small camp of his own. I can't wait to see the uh, XP difference. Mm -hmm, yep. I mean, so far, it's going to be very small for the time being. And eventually, it's going to come to a point where we do see... Oh, man, this terminology. Can't, how many people are picking up their physics books? Like, I wish I learned this better. <laughs> Most people aren't going to catch that. But I get exactly what you mean. And I think that if this is on the assumption that Sanji is actually able to walk out of this lane for free, right? And if he does, at least then Twisted Minds have a potential out during the neutral objectives. Because at least he can start melting down Call TZ more effectively than the rest of his team. But so far, lead for Call TZ a full level ahead. Oh, wait, hold on. He's catching up pretty quick, too. That's right. Uh, folks, you were not uh, confused. Uh, the, the game UI did just catch up, and we are working on things as we go. Turtle already up. It's uh, Twisted Minds first of the scene, but it looks like Liquid Echo are able to answer back. Yep, yeah, jumping in for the airstrike as well to zone them out. No and Fury already catching two, and that's going to be called TZ securing the first turtle of the game. They walk away, and all that's left in is just dust, no kills, and a couple of flickers. How uncanny. Mm -hmm. This is uncorrect. Oh, oh, I was about to say. 40. Come on. I was about to say that was very uncharacteristic of both teams mm -hmm. who have the nickname Express. You would assume that there would be bloodshed, but Sanford just came and said, Quilio, I got you. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like, don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to make a play right here, right now, just for your entertainment. But as we can see, Sano finally building up towards that Sky Piercer. He needs to find a lead in this lane somehow. And man, Liquid Echo keep on doing this. Every single tournament, I see Benny QT playing on that Moskov. He spear, he tries to steal away buffs with the Spear of Destruction. Yep, uh, almost hit it too. Yep. Almost hit it too, if not for Hoda actually getting there maybe two or three seconds faster. Now down bottom, again, happy to see that Sanji is struggling, but keeping it down. 
All right. If, if anybody could die and anybody could afford to sandbag their body mm -hmm. for his team, it would be Sanji on this X board. Looking at the uh, XP gains again. This is what Carl Thiesi got away with that small steal. Oh no! Let's speak of the small steal. Hoda is able to get on out of them. No one furies by just enough time for Cuffin to really get the damage down. TL, PH, they gotta be careful here. Sanji, this is starting to take a little too long here. He's gonna get some true damage off to Carl Thiesi, and there's not gonna be a lot for him to do. He's gonna be popping the alt as well as Sanford is zoning out three people in the back line, and Carl Thiesi shield unity is out of there like nothing ever happened. Sanji will end up falling. He's almost there. There goes Sanji as well. Oh, so close. Sanford will die as a trade, but worthwhile. So very worthwhile as Benny QT is part of the mix as well. Troll in the middle of it, Feather Airstrike once again, and it looks like they've overstayed their welcome to heal from JP is looking good, but Benny QT, oh, oh! Good movement! He flickers away on top of the dash, and Troll jumps in forward. They're not letting him get away for free. This is now a pure, honest bloodbath. Two fronts, two casualties, too early for Liquid Echo to have tried to pick a fight like that against Twisted Minds. They should have known better, and now the fight continues. Samford, he's in so much trouble. He's definitely gonna die here, right? We question it as he's still alive, and finally we do see him still oh. make it out every single time. These players are just cheating death to an uh, unreal degree. Sanji tried to put his head on a swivel, and I'm talking about that x -Borg, but it could only angle itself way too much. Maybe one more second underneath the fire missile, Sanford yeah. would have fallen. But you could only commit so much. Close call. Twisted Minds could not punish Liquid Echo for that overextension, and the Filipino squad walks away with another free turtle up top! Great flank, Sano. He's trying to get on out of there, but Sanji, he's still able to find him. But Yoda, able to find JP in the process. Okay, at least they find the trade. But no, Sanji says, one more for me. Flickers forward to make another play. The lone stallion able to make the most out of a messy situation. Down bottom, Carl is trying to stop Sanji from pushing down on that tier one. Forces out a last insanity, and he's not having any of it. Come on down. Oh, just... He's, he's, stop the recall. Now here comes Forty. Yep. yep. I mean, this is, you can see Carl DZ, as much as he is the GOAT and will always be a GOAT in my heart, he is still willing to be like, hey, brother, eat. Sanford, this is for you. <laughs> a year ago, that's what he said on the mic. He said, I don't want the kills anymore, man. I want the most damage taken and the most assists. This is the path I'm taking. Oh, the path is looking good, but it doesn't mean that Twisted Minds are completely out of this just yet, right? It's six to five. Yes, probably they are missing a couple more towers, but at this point of time, we're waiting for that power spike to actually happen for Twisted Minds. Specifically, Coven, he's 3-0-1. He's scaling a lot faster, but, I mean, Sanji, he's quickly catching up. Uh-oh. We're talking about Sanji, Sanji from Liquid Echo. Mm -hmm. That's right, Sanji from uh, Twisted Minds is actually working hard, man. He's pulling doubles. Hoda able to secure his orange, and now in mid. Again, that's the reason why mid lane tier one is still standing, is because of how Coffin is able to protect it, and not to mention Troll. Troll, did you know that Troll has a PhD? Does he? Troll is in school for medicine, man. Oh, oh no! no! All that medicine won't bring Cuffin back in the time for this. Good play from Liquid Echo, collapsing on the opportunity, as once again, they're gonna dive Sano underneath this tier one. No opportunities for you as Benny QT picks up the kill. Sano just got used to the Wait. gold lane, and no now Hoda gets a good amount of SOD, oh! and now Benny QT catches him with a solo kill. Nothing can stop the Typhoon. Oh my God. Goodness, he was caught slacking. He was caught slacking. Nobody said anything about the spear flying across the <laughs> map. And it's not over just yet because now with this mid-tier one collapsing, Liquid Echo can finally play the game that they want to play. That's right, the cavalry will now circle around the brain. Just right there, smack up in the middle of the map. Again, a replay here uh, from a different angle, as you can see. Uh, in slow motion too, just so that you can really <laughs> Really calculate the numbers. Savor mm -hmm. the moment that Benny Cutie caught Hoda. And this is the reason why, folks, our analysts said Moskov is a clear counter to the Fanny. A single stun 
against the wall, and then maybe two or three hits from the mm -hmm. spears. Mm -hmm. Just bobs your uncle, just lay down and take it. It's tough, right? Because steel ca it's not like the steel cables can like curve in many different directions. Nope. It's very, very linear, it's especially wanted. if you're throwing this one at life. a time, right? This is real life. It's not wanted. It's not wanted. It's true. It's true. With Liquid Echo now, with a four kill lead, nine to five against Twisted Minds. At this point, Twisted Minds really have to consider and really pick and choose some of these fights. Because again, if they go on Samford, Samford can buy so much time on this Arlet. If they go for Sanji, well, you can expect that Carl Teasy as well as JP are pretty close by. Yep, and maybe, maybe after watching enough Liquid Echo over the past few years, just take what you can, man. Beat down on Carl Teasy while he's giving himself to you. Because sometimes that's where the value comes from. And don't expose yourself. Though Those are some wise words for Twisted Minds right now. Don't contest the Lord. But it looks like, yeah, that's the call. Mm -hmm. they, they should just let it go. I mean, they have to, right? Like Elsa. Unless, unless they've got some crazy play to do it, to do it because Hoda currently, he is, oh my goodness, three levels down. Oh, he's catching back up. Okay, so two levels down onto Carl Teasy. That's not what you want to see in your jungler, Yeah, no, 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 no. He has to play the side lanes, split push it. Just go ahead, split it up like an acrobat. Check it out now. Uh, where are we? Huh. This is tough. Sanji has to make a decision now. Does he go straight for the Kiras? I think he's going to go for the Kiras. Yeah. Go straight for the Kiras and then Immortality. I feel like he kind of has to, right, at this point in time. You're already so far behind. Even if you get an Immortality, it's going to break almost instantaneously. It's just extra extra lives. Uh, you become a bullet sponge. Uh, uh, he's already taking so well, many bullets, but now Benny QZ trying to outplay the situation by himself! Single-handedly turning it around! JP supporting him, and Benny only knows how to move forward! So, so nasty. Kills Sano, no problem, in the middle of his teammates. Usually it's the Moscow that is the prey to the Roger, but nay, says Benny Cutie. You're right. It's push forward combat for Benny Cutie. He's playing Doom Eternal, man. Yeah, he's playing a completely separate game right now. And not to mention that he's scaled up phenomenally in this. JP, honestly, just passing to the bloom. is like, you do your thing, I'll keep you alive. Yep, and now they are threatening a penetration. Mid has a wave in. Top has a big wave in. Lord still standing. Feather Death Strike coming in oh. and a final slash. It's good, but now the back line is getting attacked as well. Zoned out, Sanji loses his, his Faraga armor. They're still trying to reset. Oh, oh, the bird almost catches him. So very close, but they at least defend the base at the cost of one in Hib. It's just Troll who falls as well. So one in Hib, one hero, one dream. Survive. Don't die here. Now they're coming in. Oh, Ooh. no. Tough in. He's got him in the back. Oh. And now they're all forced to go away. Sano finds the return to shut down onto Sanji. Benny QT takes out Sano as well. It's going to be a 3v4 situation as Oda. He's trying his best, recharging that energy to keep them at bay. And there's not much on Hoda, man. You saw one of the spears trace him. It's very difficult to play what Twisted Minds wanted to play now, 12 minutes in, wherein you should have seen this lineup do better at two. Yeah. That's it, where it started. That's where it should have begun. It could have been better, but at the same time, can you really blame them? At this point, it feels like Liquid Echo is just trying to out-micro them, trying to tell them, like, hey, you stay in your place. We got the better micro here. You better be real careful about your decisions. And what's tough is they also might actually have the better macro just across the board, right? They were sitting at 0 and 3, 9 and 5, now 12 and 6. And even if Twisted Knights did draw first blood, the rest of Liquid Echo, no, oh. it's off like this! Oh, the play once again! Sending in the right targets, even Minoan and Fury is just a little too late. Feather Head Strike doesn't find anything off of this. The flag, the diversion from Liquid Echo, making it seem easy. Hoda is trying his best to clear that way, but it's too late. The crystal might just fall here. No more minions. He buys a little bit of time, but the inevitable is happening. Benny QT still staying alive, and finally Hoda is able to shut him down. Liquid Echo take game number one. Sensory overload for Twisted Minds. The villain find a hero on horseback. Suffering defeat here in game one of this best of two. It's tough. I gotta tell you, Gideon. Every single player.